We just finished off our first day of girls camp. We're gonna jump in a canoe, spend some time in the lake in this beautiful surroundings. Oh, you guys made oh, that water. Oh, the last one's even more. They tricked me. Thanks for bringing us dinner. <laughs> This week, I am away from home for a full week with about 200 other girls and leaders for Girls Camp. And we are at Heber Valley. It's a beautiful camp ground that is owned by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints for the purpose of Girls Camps. And so I will take you along and show you a little sampling of all of the activities that we have planned. We have been planning this girls camp with the senior staff. Those are the girls that are going to be seniors in high school starting in the fall. And they have been helping us put together an incredible week of events and activities to help girls feel unified, bring them together, get them outdoors, get them unplugged, and develop friendships and feel a sense of love and connection with one another. We just finished off our first day of girls camp. I'm waking up after a first night of sleep in my cabin and not too bad. Slept comfortably, at least slept warm. It was cold and rainy pretty much all day yesterday. And then at the end of the day, we had this event where we were walking around the camp and we were having all these different stations that girls were going to be presenting at. And it started to really pour rain, lightning, we had to call an audible, moved it all under the large pavilion and stay out of the rain. Anyway, this morning we woke up to this beautiful sight. A snowy <laughs> Now on the roof of our cabin. This is our campsite pavilion, but there's a a whole larger campground pavilion that we were at with all of the girls but isn't that beautiful we also had to shelter in place last night because there was a bear sighting in one of the other campgrounds so exciting times you guys we get to do one of my favorite activities here at Heber Valley Camp which is the lake day we're gonna jump in a canoe spend some time in the lake in this beautiful surroundings I just love it We've all been working hard and in our individual groups we are doing a lip sync battle tonight for our activity.
Well, a day out on the lake at high altitude with not reapplying sunscreen halfway through the day will get you this red face, but it has not put a damper on today's activities. We are here at a challenge course where the girls will be doing low course activities that will help inspire team building and unity, and then we get to test their fear level a little bit and push them as they do a high course with a zip line. We have missionaries, they're volunteers for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. They are here all summer long to help facilitate and run these challenge courses for these girls to have these experiences. And it's awesome to see them push themselves past their comfort level and discover that they can do really hard things. I love that we are enabling these girls to have this kind of experience so that they can take it with them and know that they can do hard things and they can challenge themselves and it's amazing. I think that's the way you do it. Oh, you guys ate oh, that water. Oh, the last one's even more. They tricked me. Yeah, we don't I want you getting in the room. I know. <laughs> like, what's happening here? <laughs> oh, okay. You're Amber, right? Yeah. Just, okay. Great job, sister. Oh, yeah. You probably don't want me reaching out and touching the wire. Look, this way. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> we have had such an amazing week of so many incredible activities and experiences. We've done tomahawk toss. We've canoed on the lake. We've done ropes challenge courses. We've also had some amazing speakers come and share inspirational messages with the girls and get them all jazzed up and excited about life. And right now, one of the things that we get to do is give back to this camp that has offered us so much these past few days. So we get to do a service project and it's pretty awesome. They've set up a station for us to do some log splitting, which is pretty cool. Later tonight, we're going to be going off with our individual wards, which is our congregation with them and our Bishop Rick is coming in town so that we can have a nice dinner with them and we're going to finish off with a special testimony meeting where everyone can share their thoughts, reflections, and insights about how this experience has blessed them. Hey, thanks for bringing us dinner. This is Cap. This is what it ends up like at the end.